Uh, so my name is Dan Wetzel. I'm a faculty member at the University of Pittsburgh. I've been here for six years. Um, and I teach in the biological sciences. One of the interesting things about office hours is that although we've been doing it for decades and it's often one of the things that schools require that every faculty member do for each course, we know relatively little about it. Why don't students come? And so in 2019, I started getting involved with a team of teaching faculty from across the U.S. and our goal was to get the student perspective on best practices of office hours and what could we do to make office hours better. So one of the things that I did at first was I did inclusive scheduling. So I actually had a relatively small class size and I asked those students when would be the best time for us to have office hours and pulled the stu students and that's when we scheduled the course office hours on day one. The second thing I did on day one, instead of focus really heavily on syllabus stuff and uh, you know the details about grades and all that good stuff, is I actually focused on office hours. So I talked a lot about the value of office hours, the benefits of office hours, and then I asked the students, what do you want office hours to be about? And we spent five or 10 minutes just talking about what they perceive as something that would be useful for office hours for this course. And so in that way, I got buy-in from the students, right? It was this shared collaborative time that like they helped design what office hours was gonna look like for them. Other things that I did uh, were to have themes for each week. So each week's office hours would have a specific theme with a little bit of extra content. Now this wouldn't be stuff that they're gonna be tested on in class, so you don't need to know it, but it was stuff that could help you be more effective in the classroom, be more effective with the technology or the discipline as well as I thought about things that students in my course would need. My course was filled with mostly seniors, so I knew that they would be applying to jobs in the near future, so we talked one week was resume week. So some of the results that I found in my class was I had roughly 30 students in the class, and two-thirds of the class came to at least one office hours event, which is shocking to me because in many of my classes I would get a one or two students coming total over the course of the semester. The other big result that I found was that roughly a 400% increase in office hours usage from the year before, when I didn't implement any of these interventions, to this year when I focused more heavily on office hours. So I was having uh, 130 office hours visits as opposed to 20 office hours visits. What we found is that students from marginalized communities are much less likely to use office hours and simultaneously, they are less likely to use some of the tools that their peers are using to succeed in the course. So they're less likely to report using the textbook. They're less likely to, to report using their friends to help get them through a particular course. What this tells us is that the current implementation of office hours, the way we currently do it, is not working for some marginalized groups of students. I think we can use office hours to be much more equitable and inclusive in our teaching.